What's up guys, it's Redius and welcome to this very last minute video that I decided to film, I guess. In today's video we'll be blackening and painting my gorget, gorge, go however you pronounce that word. I need to work out how to pronounce that word. Give me a second. Gorget. In today's video we'll be painting my gorget. 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 Yes, that thing. to go back to voiceover Shay because I'm lazy and it was very last minute so that's what you're getting. So with that I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you at the end of the video. Guess who's back? It's voiceover Shay. Anyway, so in today's video yes we are blackening my armor. This isn't the first time I've actually blackened a piece of my armor. The first piece of armor I blackened was my chest plate and I loved it. I now don't wear my chest plate that often and I've had this neck piece for a while and I was like why not actually use it. Now the first step that I completely didn't film was the cleaning process of this. The reason I didn't film this was because I started doing it and was like you know what I should film this and make a YouTube video out of it. However when I did start it was silver. Now the product that I actually use is a bluing for guns. So basically with this bluing paste you have to thoroughly clean it off the metal once it has activated. So I literally did that in the sink in my bathroom and then I towel dried it. Being metal you have to dry it really well as well as the bluing paste is actually a form of rust so you've got to make sure you clean it all off really really well and then oil the armor afterward. However I didn't oil it straight away simply because I did want to paint on it so I just left that step out. From there I did a little bit of research on what the hell I was even going to paint on this armor. Now from the beginning I knew that I wanted some form of sun so I did the good old Russian sun embroidery patterns and all that sort of thing and it was just a simple sun so I just drew a sun. Now the reason I wanted to do a sun is because of our god Daz, Daz, Daz. I'm going to be judged very heavily by my warband for pronouncing this wrong but hey, whatever. <laughs> so yes, I painted a sun and it was just a process of layering and layering the paint in hopes that it sticks basically. Once I did that I added a little bit of greenery on it simply for the fact that my character is a herbalist so why not add leaves? And from there we added some little dots, little details, nothing super special. Surprisingly the paint dries really quickly on the metal which can be a curse and also you know a good thing at the same time but whatever. This process honestly didn't take that long of like that long at all and I'm really happy with how it turned out however because I did leave it I've noticed that it does rust pretty quickly now so I have to make sure I keep cleaning it and oiling it. I didn't think it actually gave me anything so there was no point wearing it but apparently it actually gives me one hit point so I'll take it I guess. I'm definitely going to wear this a lot as it does make my kit look awesome. Now I thought I'd make this a little bit more interesting for you guys and actually tell you the story about when I actually went and brought the bluing paste. It's a it's it's interesting so yeah. I brought this from a hunting shop and it was the awkwardest thing I've ever done in my life I'm not going to lie. I had got some help from good old internet asking about what I could do to blacken armor an easy way and someone recommended gun bluing. So I went to a hunting shop and was like hey do you guys sell like bluing liquid or I didn't know what it was called. Anyway we got this young guy and he was the most helpful thing ever. He takes me to where they would sell all the bluing pastes and stuff and go this is probably the best bet but what are you bluing? And I'm like, <laughs> he's like, a gun? I'm like, no, not a gun. And it was the, the most awkward pause in a conversation where I look down at my feet and just go, armor, I'm bluing, I'm bluing a chest plate. Anyway, from there he was like, ha ha, ha ha, and I was like, yes. Then he told me, now make sure when you're done that you come in and show me what you've done with this chest piece. Let me tell you, I didn't go back to that store 
there was no way I was taking armor in to show them what I did. Anyway, so that's that was interesting. I'm so happy with it. us to the end of the video when in reality I actually haven't moved and I only just filmed the intro. With that said, here's the finished product. She a little rusty because it has been a few days since I've actually done this and I wore it and I put it on the wet ground and I should probably take better care of my armor but it's an easy fix so I'm not too phased. Now with that once again thank you for all the love and support on my videos. If you're not yet subscribed, go ahead and do so. If not, give the video a like, give it a comment, and I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye, guys!